Austin, how have you seen this team just respond to the first loss? Well, yeah, man, I mean, you know, loss, you know, losses come and go, you know, and at the end of the day, we knew we had to, you know, get back to the fundamentals, get back to the basics, and, you know, just work hard and get back to what we're used to doing. Caleb is obviously an emotional guy. How, how did you see him kind of respond to the game he had and just the loss in general? Yeah, I mean, he took it He took it like a man, you know. He said he made mistakes and that he's going to come back and be better next week. And, I mean, we, we were, we're not worried about that. We know that Caleb's a great player. We expect him to be great, so we're not really worried about it. We know going to come out and play a great game. Have you noticed any sort of collective kind of attitude shift or, you know, motivation focus? Yeah, week? absolutely. I mean, every time after you lose, you kind of realize you got to take a step back and kind of look back at yourself more than anything else. Because you you can get better, so yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, take a step back and look at it. Where does the run, where does the run game have to take a step forward? Uh, just being consistent, you know, just all around, like us hitting the holes, you know, getting blocked, all that stuff. Just being consistent all the way throughout. What was your approach to things that you personally get better at? Uh, I say for myself, just uh, running through a little bit more contact. I ran through a lot. Um, just for, you know, just making those plays instead of just getting tackled for five, you know, going for 15, 20, 30, you know, along. The two games went last year against Utah. What's the feeling when you have a chance against these guys? Oh, I mean, it's a great feeling. It's a great opportunity. You know, when you lose to a team twice a year, you know, we were waiting to kind of get back and play them again. So it's definitely a great opportunity to do the game. How similar does the team look on tape from what you saw last year? Uh, pretty similar. I mean, they're running the same, basically the same scheme and everything like that. Same defense coordinator. So, I mean, we're trying to just, you know, Harp and all we looked at last year and then continue to just push forward from there. The backs obviously take a lot of pride in, in blocking. You know, it seems like a little bit of struggle with that over the past few weeks. I mean, you know, what do you do to kind of you said, you said, fix on that? You said the backs? Yeah, yeah, take a lot of pride in blocking for, for Jim. I wouldn't say we had any struggle. I don't think we let up any, as far as running back goes, we haven't let up any sacks or anything like that. So, uh, I mean, we're just, you know, continue to be consistent and do what we're supposed to do. Is there any reference or similarities to how last year you guys had lost in the middle of the season and then went with one of the um, you know, two games after that? Is there any kind of thing you're drawing on from, from that experience? Well, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, uh, last year we kind of lost in the summer point of the year. But, I mean, we know everything's out there for us. We're going to go out there and take it and continue to work hard. We're not, we're not worried about, uh, you know, what's in the distance. we got to just take it game by game. Lincoln has been talking a lot about kind of, you know, concept of inside versus outside, concept of outside noise. Right now, what's been his message to you guys as far as, you know, kind of in the locker room, banding together right now? Oh, just stay together. You know, just stay together all the way throughout. You know, don't let the outside noise or what we think might happen towards the end of the season. Like, at the end of the day, we got to play every single one of these games week by week, so we're not really worried about it.